Hi guys, thanks so much for joining me today on the SH Weddings YouTube channel. Today I wanted to talk a little bit about something that I think is super important when you are creating your timeline for your wedding day. And I think it's also one of the hardest decisions that some couples struggle with as far as what to do about this. And it is the first look. If you guys don't know what a first look is, it just simply means that you will or will not see each other before the ceremony starts. A really big trend right now, and I'd say actually most of my couples, well, no, I'd say actually half and half do a first look and half don't. So that's kind of um, what my client clients are doing anyway. Usually um, couples opt to do a first look for a variety of different reasons and I actually do recommend it um, to my own clients if they if I do feel like they are open to it. There are some people out there that absolutely do not want to see each other before the ceremony. They're more traditional. They really want to have that moment when they walk down the aisle and the groom sees the bride for the first time that way and that's totally fine. I just want to stress that before I do get into the reasons why I recommend a first look. Obviously this decision is not for everyone and you really need to stay true to who you are and what you want for your wedding day because you can't get it back. Once you do it, you do it and it's over and done with. So I just wanted to just kind of throw that disclaimer out there that obviously if I have a client that has really strong feelings against doing a first look, I will not tell them to do it at all. It's, it's really what they want and what they're most comfortable with. But if you are open to seeing each other before the ceremony or you're kind of like teetering between not seeing each other and seeing each other, this video is all about the reasons why I do recommend it. So if you are interested in hearing what I have to say, please stay tuned and keep watching. Okay guys, so let's get started. I have a variety of different reasons why I think you should do a first look and I'm just going to kind of ramble about them and explain just from a planner's perspective and from a former bride's perspective of why I do recommend it. My husband and I actually did a first look. We at the very beginning of wedding planning were not, we were flat out against it. We wanted that moment when I walked down the aisle and he sees me for the first time and I just thought that would be really special and meaningful. But over time when we were putting together our timeline, the reality sunk in of how much time we would have for photos and I knew that I would regret not having more time to take pictures, especially because photography was a really big priority for us and we hired our dream photographer and I didn't want to pay all that money for a photographer when I wouldn't really be able to use her to our full advantage. So our wedding coordinator was kind of not pushing us, but she would mentioned that it has a lot of benefits to seeing each other for the first time before the ceremony. And our photographer was also showing us how we'd be able to get more photos from it as well. So in the end, they won, they won us over and I'm actually really glad that they did. It's a decision that I do not regret making at all. And I know that if we didn't see each other before the ceremony, we would not have gotten half the pictures that we did. So my first point is actually more time for photos. And I'll elaborate on this a little bit because I think a lot of clients don't really understand, like I said, the reality of how long photos take. So if you don't see each other before the ceremony, the only photos that you can take prior to the ceremony are your wedding party photos, like the bride with her bridesmaids, the groom with his groomsmen, and then the bride with her parents and siblings, and then the groom with his parents and siblings. So you really can't get any pictures together. And let's face it, when you have wedding day photos, most pictures that you're going to want in your album or frame on a wall are going to be photos of the bride and groom together with people. It's going to be kind of weird if you have like just the bride with people and then just the groom with people. So I mean, obviously those pictures are really good to have just for like albums and stuff, but the ones that you really are going to want to display are Gonna, you're going to want to have both in those photos. So just keep that in mind. While they're good pictures to have, they're not going to be the ones that you're going to be looking to have like down the future to display on your wall and stuff. So after the ceremony, if you don't see each other for the first time, you have to consider how long family photos at the altar will take. I usually budget about 20 minutes for that, but it really depends on how many photos you need to have. And also keep in mind that you can't start right away because your photographer will have to set up his equipment for lighting, especially if you're inside in a church or something, and that takes a little bit of time to do test shots. And also we have to clear out the church so that your guests aren't kind of lingering because that can get in the way of photo time as well. So you need about 20 to 30 minutes depending um, on the situation for family photos and that's actually kind of on the low on side as well. Um, if you have a bigger family it's obviously going to be a lot longer. And then you have to do wedding party pictures because obviously you wouldn't, you aren't able to get pictures of the bride and groom together with their entire wedding party. So that has to follow as well. And then after that, you need to do your couple portraits together, obviously just the bride and groom. Those are the most important pictures of the day. So for wedding party photos, I usually budget minimum a half an hour. For couple portraits, photographers recommend 45 minutes to an hour to take the most advantage of like daylight and photos and going to different locations and different poses and things like that. So, I mean, after all that, that's almost 
three hours of photos right there. So you gotta take that in mind as well. Most couples assume that because cocktail hour usually immediately follows the reception, most couples these days don't have large gaps between their ceremony and reception. Usually it's an hour or less um, from the end of the ceremony to the start of the cocktail hour. So really you don't have tons and tons of time there. Yes, you have the full hour for cocktails, but you also have to keep in mind that one, you're gonna miss your entire cocktail hour, which kind of sucks. Um, and two, you, it's gonna be really hard to cram all those photo sessions into that one hour because you do also have to get back in time to get lined up for your wedding party introductions, your introduction into the reception, and all that good stuff. So as far as timing for photos, seeing each other beforehand allows you to get all of that stuff done beforehand. So once the ceremony is over, all you have to worry about are just family photos at the altar because everyone wants family photos at the altar. Those are like, I'd call them um, like fireplace mantle photos that grandma and aunts and those types of people like to have on display in their homes. So those are kind of obligatory. Um, but all your other photos will be done and then all you'll have to worry about is getting off to cocktail hour, getting a drink, getting some food in your stomach and mingling with all of your friends and family that came to support you that you probably haven't seen in a really long time. So that is the first reason why I recommend doing a first look. The second reason I always recommend doing a first look is because you can control where it happens, when it happens, and how it happens, which is awesome. With the ceremony aisle walk, you really only have the one location. So with your first look location, you can pick where the best lighting is, you can pick your backdrops, you kind of have different scenery and you can also pick if you want it to be just really intimate with just the two of you or if you want your wedding party surrounding you. Um, either way it's always worked out really well for my clients when they have their wedding party surrounding them it, it's just really energetic and everyone's clapping and cheering and it's it's just a really fun scene. I've also had clients um, do it just like together, just the two of them. It's very intimate and meaningful and special. And then also you get a little bit more time together. When you walk down the ceremony aisle, you really only get about 60 seconds or less to really take in that amazing feeling that you've been waiting so, so long for. And then boom, it's over and that's it. And then your ceremony starts and you don't really get time to soak it in and just like stare at each other and just say, oh my gosh, we're getting married today. Whereas with a first look, you have all that time to do that. I usually budget about 10 minutes for my bride and groom to just go off together and just talk and take it in and just really cherish every moment of it because once it's gone, it's gone. You can't get it back. So that is another reason why I recommend it as well. You can obviously, like I said, pick your location so your photographer can scout out a really good location for you so you have the perfect lighting. Um, you can do you can determine the energy that you want, whether it's your wedding party surrounding you, if you want a more intimate setting, and then you can also just take the time to really let it soak in. So that's the other reason why I recommend doing a first look. Thirdly, like I actually referenced before, um, when you do a first look, you get to go right into your cocktail hour, so you get to take advantage of your reception a lot more. And guys, I know I sound like a broken record when I say this, but your wedding day goes by so fast. Like even your reception just flies by. One moment you're being announced into your reception and the next moment it's over. So the longer that you can spend with your guests, the better. Um, my, my clients always say how much they enjoy being at cocktail hour because they do get to have a drink to kind of calm their nerves and their excitement and all their adrenaline. Also get a bite to eat because you're probably starving at that point. It's always good to stay nourished on your wedding day so you don't get lightheaded and then you just like I said have more time to spend with your guests so that is an additional perk as well okay guys so overall doing a first look really just gives you a lot of time I think a lot of my clients once they see how much time they have set aside for photos when they don't do a first look that's when the light bulb goes off in their head and they're like you know what maybe we should just go ahead and do it and trust me it's not gonna be less meaningful than seeing each other down the aisle um, it's more intimate at times and it's not like I said it's not any less special I just I don't I really want to stress that because I know that, that was something that my husband and I were concerned about but it, like we don't miss the moment walking down the aisle we just when I was walking down the aisle toward him I was very calm cool and collected and I was really able to take it more in than I think I would have if I hadn't seen him yet because my nerves were already calmed so I was really able to just walk down the aisle and just be like oh I'm walking down the aisle you know <laughs> I wasn't thinking oh my god you know I'm seeing him for the first time does he think I look okay what's going on what is he thinking what are the guests thinking it's a lot to take in when you walk down the aisle for the first time when you haven't really seen your groom so um, those are just 
some things to consider. That's just my perspective on the first look. I just generally feel like when my clients do decide to do that, they're really happy with the decision. And again, I want to stress that if obviously if it's not the right decision for you, it's not. And no planner or photographer should ever make you feel bad for not wanting to do it. Granted, it does make our job easier, especially for the photographer, because then he or she isn't so rushed right after the ceremony to get all the photos that you want done. But also just keep in mind that if you don't decide to do a first look, be very realistic on the kind of photos that you can get. If you don't have a huge gap between your ceremony and your cocktail hour and reception, just bear in mind that your photographer probably won't be able to get hundreds and hundreds of photos. You might have to be a little bit more realistic and cut back on some of the photos that you do want. Um, however, if you do do a first look, um, you'll be able to get all the photos you want because you can start as early as you need to during the day, just get ready earlier, and just really take all that time that you need and just go through your shot list and just make sure that you're getting everything that you want. And then generally, overall, it's just more relaxing because you're not worrying about rushing off to cocktail hour or your reception. You're like, ah. Oh, I got all the time in the world and you can relax and just have fun with your wedding party and your groom and it's just it's a really good time so I do highly recommend it for those reasons and I hope this video helps you guys especially if you are teetering back and forth between the two decisions um, I hope I was able to sway you one way or the other um, and like I said it's, it's whatever you're comfortable with if you don't want to do it make sure you stand firm and just explain to your coordinator the reasons you don't want to and also your photographer and we'll do our best to work our way around it so yeah I hope that was helpful for you guys if you have any questions let me know. Otherwise, thank you so much for tuning in again with me today, and I hope that you have a wonderful rest of the week. Thank you so much. Bye.